So we are back a couple of weeks later in a slightly more echoey room. So it's all emptied out. And basically I've got a, a friend of mine coming around now to lay the resin floor, which I'll uh, grab a video of. Uh, I've also had an update on the tank, so they are completed now. I have asked for some pictures. So if they have been sent any, I shall add them in now. The only thing that's left is the unit tank and just this table. Um, it's full of beer and I need a hand um, moving it because it weighs a lot and I ain't hurting myself, uh, safety and all that. But yeah, let's see how it goes. and smooth now there was a little wet patch there so we just got the heater on for a little bit and now what we're going to do is just mix up some resin in these buckets and then we'll be spreading that all over the floor and then letting that set and we'll do the rest tomorrow so what you do first is you mix it because pigment settles over time so if i just split that first yeah and then the second one will be darker than the other and stuff Stupidly left the resin outside, so it's freezing cold. So we've got it in front of the heater to make it a bit more uh, workable. So we split it between two. Nathan's just mixed it just to make sure it's all nice and even. And then uh, what's what we got to do next? Uh, once it's warm up, we'll mix up half the kids and uh, yeah, get the first coat down, and then we'll save the other half for tomorrow. Second coat comes in. And you, your brewery's done. Sweet. So what are you adding here? That's the hardener or part B. So that's the pigments in the base and then rub that together. Creates a chemical reaction and that's what makes it cure, otherwise it will never go off. So we'll cut in the walls yet, because we'll do that in the second coat. So you will see a straight line, you think, I've missed it. It's just to make it more even tomorrow. days have passed and sadly I didn't quite get Nathan doing the edges of the room but here we are all done 
uh, looks amazing, really, really nice. And uh, yeah, I've just got to put everything back in the brewery now. So for those who don't know what uh, these are, these are maxi chillers. So there was a guy uh, selling them online. Uh, so I'm gonna use these to control the temperature of the uh, beer and the fermenters, but I'm yet to try them out. So I figured now is a better time than any. So I've just filled it up with water. I'm just waiting for that to stop. Although to be fair, I'll probably just start it up now. Um, and yeah, just to uh, test them out. Fingers crossed. So, kind of see that uh, circulating around. So um, yeah, these are typically used in pubs and uh, this is what will go up to the tower that serves the beer and help keep all the beer in the line, nice and cold. So I've uh, put through the uh, kegerator and uh, I've set my glycol chiller back up to start cooling these tanks because uh, two lagers, both in the conditioner phase, but could, because of the work, obviously I had to take them out. But I've got the uh, glycol chiller set up and running again, connected to the tanks. So that's all uh, going along now. I've decided to uh, take the kegerator apart. I'm soaking it in some uh, hot caustic and uh, got some football on and yeah this needs cleaning out because filthy and yeah tanks uh, kegs sorry and the dog hello that is everything for this week guys so thank you so much for watching hopefully it won't be too long till my next video is out but um yeah take care thank you so much please subscribe like, uh, comment if you've got any questions or, you know, the usual stuff. Uh, please follow me on Instagram as well because I post quite a lot more than I do on uh, YouTube. But hopefully that should change. But yeah, anyway, I'll see you next time. Cheers.